This morning, the Belize Coast Guard headquarters was louder than usual with officers from the Belize Coast Guard and Belize Defense Force grunting and shouting as they overcome strenuous activities. The annual Best Warrior Competition was held at the Belize Coast Guard headquarters. In the next two days, teams from the Belize Defense Force and Belize Coast Guard will have to overcome these activities to see which team will capture the title of Best Warrior. According to Gregory Soberanis, Fleet Commander of the Belize Coast Guard, this competition hones the skills, teamwork and dedication within these officers. This came about about 10 years ago. Admiral Borland had what was then known as the Ironman competition. This was an individual award and he, he, he said, you know something? No man fights alone. We fight in groups of eight or more. And so that is how the Best Warrior competition morphed and evolved into a squad element competition. This event has leadership, teamwork, discipline, perseverance, endurance, all those qualities that makes up a good team. And as I mentioned before, these teams have been training for some months now, leading up, culminating um, in today's event. This competition really and truly supersedes these three days. As members of the security forces, we must be prepared to combat or fight any threat, foreign or domestic, that pose a threat to the national security of this country. The commander also spoke to us about the gruesome experience he has had when he participated in the competition. He noted, that the third day will be the day that proves everyone's worth. After two days of overcoming these tough challenges, participants must face the final challenge called the Crucible. Commander Sabranis walks us through what that experience is like. Now remember now you're fatigued, you're tired, but this is where team spirit comes in. This is where you gotta dig deep, find the motivation to accurately engage those targets downrange. But it doesn't stop there you then transition back to Coast Guard headquarters here, where you must face the crucible. Now the crucible is where you must go through a series of events. For example, you need to flip those huge tires, which are not 25 pounds or 30 pounds. I mean, these things are heavy. You have the logs, you have that, that chain that is ex extremely heavy, and then, you finish with negotiating the confidence course. By then, I mean, your, your legs are hurting, your arms are hurting, uh, you're in pain. And this is where you must push through. Because we must be able, as the best fighting units or the best fighting elements in our units, to be able to, to go above the average threshold. The Coast Guard strike team is the team to beat this year. According to them, they plan on giving it everything they got to defend their title. The strike team went through a total of a two months and a half training, uh, rigorous training. Um, our motto is, uh, you know, one team, one dream. The way we, we train, that's the way we're going to fight. So we, we train hard and we fight easy. The strategy is uh, to dominate. As I mentioned earlier, through our training, uh, we know each and every event like the palm of our hands, so we're not guessing anything. We're not worrying about the, the rivals, we're not worrying about the other teams. Whatever they bring, we know what we have from the, from the beginning. So our strategy is to dominate each and every event and get 100 points. The competition definitely is there. We have the Alpha Company, I think, the A, A team, mm -hmm. and the regular, and then we have the Special Force team, which is the BSAG Special mm -hmm. Assignment Group. And uh, yeah, you know, that's what we welcome. We welcome fierce competition. And as I mentioned, we are trained, we are focused, we are dedicated, and we, 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 the first event is done this morning. And I believe, I have not seen the official results yet, but I believe that we came on top for that one. So who will be Belize's next best warrior? Find out on Friday when we bring to you the conclusion of the event. Reporting for Love News, I am Naim Borges.